Let me make sure. Uh, we've got adjustment disorder with anxiety. All right. And we're moving. Here we go. I was always curious when I talked to the original um, before Miss Claudia. Um, I had kind of like a Zoom meeting, and um, I forget her name. Susie. Uh, yes, Miss Susie. Yes, Miss Susie. Um, she had said, you know, well, the only thing I can really find that maybe we could put down is that adjustment anxiety disorder, and she's like, but. That's really only due to the stress and anxiety of the case in DSS. And once that's over, this will probably subside. So I guess what I was getting from that, and maybe you can clarify, is basically, um, you know, it's recommended um, that I keep attending a group like this um, until all of it's over. Ideally. Ideally, yes. Um, uh, adjustment disorder is kind of a catch-all diagnosis. It's not a. F it is a diagnosis, but it's not like schizophrenia or major depressive disorder, bipolar disorder, where kind of when you have it, you have it. Yeah. Um. Uh, um. Not that there's anything wrong with having those diagnoses. No, 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 no. I know. Yeah, exactly. It's it's like a broad it's spectrum. Like, right. It's kind of like a. You're having trouble adjusting to a change, and the change could be having a child. It could be having a DSS case. It could be a, a loss, although there's a, a complicated bereave, bereavement diagnosis. But it's kind of a catch-all. It, it doesn't hold as much weight in terms of long-term, and, and Susie's exactly right. It's something that you can adjust out of, if you will. Yes. Um, I'm looking at these are like goals within goals. I'm looking at a couple of these that I think fit for you, but I want to see which one of these you would choose as a goal. 